Hi guys, it's Jamie here and today we're going to try and do a journal page using a modern magazine image for our journal with me. Normally adverts are the best source of good pictures. That one's quite nice but she looks really sad. I kind of like that one. These are more interesting pictures. But I'm going to go with this one even though she's not looking the way I want her to look. The reason I wanted someone looking to the right was because I wanted to do the image on this side because this is quite lumpy and bumpy for writing on and this side's nice and smooth but I can't put her on that side and then do that as the writing page that wouldn't work. Using my Mod Podge I'm going to put that image down and then using some scraps from the tear sheets we're going to surround that torn image with bits of scrappy paper actually because I think I'll be getting this wet what I will also do is get some masking tape to go down the center to protect the spine area and we could actually put some more masking tape down because we want to create some layers anyway. This is quite random and quick to do. Just looking for different tones. What I also have is some dressmaker pattern paper that I'm going to add in pieces over this. I've already trimmed off some excess but I'm going to use my emery board and rub down some of this. need some clear gesso. It will help stick down anything that's lifting. Over her I don't want big brush lines so I'm going to buff that in a bit. Now we're taking the white gesso and we're going to merge some things together. So we're going to bring that up into the portrait. And then the same on this side. And we can go a bit stronger on some bits. Now we're going to take some black coffee and a sponge. Start to stain up some of these areas particularly around the face. I'm hoping you can see how the coffee has been layered up and up and up. It's taken a little while to do it particularly as my heat gun decided to stop working completely and it's still a bit damp as a result of that. What I'm going to do is use this brush which has my Versafine vintage sepia on it which is very similar to vintage photo and try and stain these whiter areas down. Starting to blend a bit better. I have my Derwent Intense Bark, which is a very intense watercolor color, as you can see. And we're going to try to get an outline here that's going to work with that and I want to think of a way to blend it around this area. I haven't really decided where I'm going with this. I suppose I want to go not necessarily where the whiter bits are and blend it that way. I have a really, really fine brush here. I'm just going to use the coffee water just for ease. And then we're going to bring that down. If I don't like the effect, which I'm not at the moment, I might have to blast it a bit and blend it that way. I really, really wish my heat gun was working at the moment. Okay, that's darkened it down a little bit, but I'm still not happy with this white area here. So I'm going to try using the espresso distress ink. It's a real struggle to get this really fading into that background with her. All right, we're gonna try the Stabilo 8046, which is another 
one that reacts with water and if I still don't like the effect then I've got a black paint pen. We'll get there. Just being persistent. What we want to do is get a bit of water on my finger and hopefully smudge that but I don't want to smudge it so much that we go back to white. got this virtually dry and what I'm doing is just putting some black stabilo on there and then rubbing it with a dry finger and I think I'm beginning to get the fading and coverage that I wanted so that she becomes part of the whole thing. Because of the picture that we have here I think the prompt should be about invisibility for example, have you ever felt invisible to others? How does that make you feel? What was the situation? How can you remedy feeling invisible? Do you find invisibility comforting? Describe your feelings around the concept of invisibility. If you have ever felt invisible, what do you think caused it? Obviously you don't have to answer all of those, those are just examples of prompts around the word invisible.